In the early 20th century, the Quebec Bridge was an engineering marvel in the making. It was envisioned as a grand structure that would not only connect Quebec City with Levi's over the mighty St. Lawrence River, but also stand as a testament to human ingenuity and progress. The bridge was to be the longest cantilever bridge in the world, a feat that would place Canada on the map of engineering excellence. But what happened next turned it into a haunting reminder of human error and oversight. The dream of a monumental bridge quickly turned into a nightmare, forever etching its name in the annals of engineering failures. In 1907, the Quebec Bridge was meant to be the crowning achievement of modern engineering, connecting Quebec City with Levi's over the mighty St. Lawrence River. The construction was a massive undertaking, involving thousands of workers and countless hours of labour. The anticipation was palpable, as everyone awaited the completion of this engineering marvel. But on August 29th, as workers toiled away, something went terribly wrong. The day started like any other, with workers diligently performing their tasks, unaware of the impending disaster. With a sudden deafening roar, the bridge crumbled into the water below, taking 75 lives with it. The scene was one of utter devastation, with twisted metal and debris scattered across the river. What caused this disaster? Miscalculations in the design. The tragedy sent shockwaves through the engineering community and the nation as a whole. The bridge was too heavy. The weight of the steel was underestimated, leading to fatal errors in the calculations of critical load points. The oversight in the design phase proved catastrophic, as the structure could not bear the weight it was supposed to support. Engineers had ignored warnings of bending and warping, dismissing them as minor issues. These warnings, if heeded, could have prevented the disaster. The complacency and overconfidence in the design led to the tragic collapse. After the tragedy, a royal commission was established. The commission's task was to investigate the causes of the collapse and to ensure that such a disaster would never happen again. The inquiry revealed a series of errors and oversights that contributed to the failure. They found that the bridge's designer, Theodore Cooper, had overlooked critical signs of structural failure. Cooper, who was highly respected in his field, had made grave errors in judgment. Cooper, a renowned engineer, was already in poor health and his remote supervision meant he missed vital changes and issues that were clear on site. His inability to be present during crucial phases of construction led to a lack of oversight that proved fatal. But the story doesn't end there. The determination to complete the bridge remained strong, and efforts to rebuild began almost immediately. In 1916, during reconstruction, the replacement central span collapsed as it was being hoisted into place, killing another 13 workers. The second collapse was another blow to the project, and a stark reminder of the dangers involved in such massive undertakings. This time it was due to a failure in the hoisting mechanism, another oversight in the rush to rebuild. The haste to complete the project led to another tragic loss of life. The Quebec Bridge stands today as a monument to those lost lives and a stark reminder of the consequences of engineering mistakes. It serves as a memorial to the workers who perished and a lesson in the importance of precision and caution in engineering. It took 29 years to complete, costing far more than just money. It cost human lives. The timeline of the bridge's construction is a sombre reflection of the challenges and tragedies that marked its creation. Each piece of steel, every rivet, tells a story of ambition, error and tragedy. The bridge's structure is a testament to the complex interplay of human ambition and the unforgiving nature of engineering. The Quebec Bridge disasters are a chilling testament to the importance of meticulous engineering and the high price of oversight. They highlight the critical need for thorough planning, accurate calculations and constant vigilance. The bridge that once symbolised progress became a sobering lesson in humility and caution. It stands as a reminder that even the most ambitious projects can fail, if not executed with the utmost care. Let the tale of the Quebec Bridge serve as a reminder. In engineering, every detail matters. The legacy of the Quebec Bridge is a powerful lesson in the importance of precision, the cost of human error, and the enduring impact of engineering failures.